Hello, YouTubers. I know, it's been a little while since you've seen me, right? Still dipping, though. Um, yeah, so, just a short little update video. Um, just got back from New Jersey, just came back down to school. As you can see, I'm back in my dorm room. Um, fucking sucks, it's like 95 degrees in here. But, uh, can throw me in a little dip. Thanksgiving break was fun. I didn't get to film a dip video on Thanksgiving. Uh, I dipped Timberwolf Peach on Thanksgiving for the first time ever. And, uh, wow. That's a good dip. That's a great, uh, after dinner dip, as I like to call them. Grizzly Straight's another good after dinner dip. You know, right after you eat, you always, you always want to throw in a dip. Grizzly Straight's great for that. And, uh, so is... Uh, Timberwolf Peach. She did a review on that, motherfucker. But, um, yeah, I mean, I got a couple dips here. I got Skull Extra Rich Blend Long Cut, which I, I did a fair amount of this towards the end of the summer because a lot of my friends dipped it. But, uh, you can't get it down here by me in Virginia, so I bought that when I back when I was back home. There's only about a pinch left in that, um, so I'll be doing a review on that, I hope. Copenhagen Long Cut, as always, that's about killed as well. Probably got two dips left in it. And then a full can of Grizzly Wintergreen Long Cut. My most favorite dip of all time. Now check this out, guys. No number on there. No number. Weird, right? So um, we're going to pack this baby up and throw in a dip. Because, um, you know, I don't smoke. I'm Carlton Fisk, and I don't smoke. But I still enjoy tobacco. I've joined the millions of men around the world who enjoy smokeless tobacco. Okay, so, we're gonna, uh, have some greasy wind green here. I'm gonna put on a quick song. Not really that quick, like four and a half minutes. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Zac Brown Band, and they are phenomenal. So if you don't know the Zac, Brand, the Zac Brown Band, check them out. And I've been listening to a lot of Old Crow Medicine Show. They're good, too. Check them out. Wagon Wheels, one of my favorites. But I'm going to throw on uh, Let It Go by the Zac Brown Band. And then uh, shout out to the Canadian Dippers. Nick at the Canadian Dippers is a huge fan of the Zac Brown Band. So shout out to you, dude. And uh, <clears throat> let's crack this baby up and throw some dip. I can actually use my fingernails now. Look at that, huh? Kind of keeps my fingernails. Yeah, there they go. My palms are sweaty. It's like 95 degrees in here. Alright, let's lower this a little bit. So yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Zach Brown band. Really, really good music, man. Um, Knee Deep by them, featuring Jimmy Buffett, is my... I fell in love with this song as soon as I, as soon as I heard it. It's uh, my most favorite song by them, definitely. Um, so, that, No Hurry, Let It Go, uh, Chicken Fried, they have so many good songs. Like I said, this is Let It Go. Yeah, so, uh, I'm still around. I set up my tin pyramid back home. Uh, hopefully I can get a picture up of that. 165 tins. It looks pretty good. I got a picture on my phone, so I got to upload it to my computer. Um... Yeah, I, I'm starting to dip more on this side now, um, because actually I was dipping on this side all of yesterday. Last night I threw out a dip, 
and I started bleeding right on the bottom of my canine teeth, right there. The blood was coming out. I was like, fuck, that ain't good. Um, so, I got nothing really interesting to talk about, so, uh, I'm gonna talk about how I first picked up dipping, kinda like Nick just uploaded a video, the Canadian Dipper Z just uploaded a video of this, uh, so this was... This was, I believe, the end of freshman year, the summer going into sophomore year of high school. Um, I had a couple of my friends over my house. We were going to play a manhunt game. And uh, this is when I would first started becoming friends with the group of guys that I'm friends with now, who were all really close. And uh, my good friend Robbie was there. And Robbie had just picked up dipping. And uh, shout out to Robbie. My dipping brother. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Stringy ass spin, man. And, uh, turn the music off. Song's almost over anyway. Gotta let it go. And, uh, Robbie had a tin of Skull Mint Long Cut. Skull Original Mint. And, um,. Him and my friend John went to go pack a lip. What up, John? And uh, they were like, you want to come with us? I was like, yeah, I've never tried it before. You guys want to show me the ropes? They're like, yeah. So he told me how to pack the tin and everything. Robbie throws in the dip. John throws in the dip. And he's like, all right, here's what you want to do. You got to take yourself a pinch. He's like, don't take a big pinch because it'll throw up. Ew. So I grabbed a bitch ass pinch, maybe that big, and uh, threw that in right up front. And almost immediately the buzz hit me, man. I was like, oh shit, I felt drunk. I was like, damn, this shit's good. Didn't feel queasy or anything. I kind of felt tired, actually. But uh, I was buzzed off my ass. No, I only had it in for about five minutes because my dad called me inside, so I, just, I had to take it out and go inside. And, uh, yeah. It was awesome, though. And then the next night. We went over to Robbie's house. <clears throat> I got a dip on my face, don't I? And uh, John was there. John had a tin of Skull Citrus pouches. And he gave me a pouch. And the pouch was much bigger than the first dip I took. And uh, I had that in for a while. I had that in for like a half an hour. I took it out and I felt like absolute shit, man. I was laying down on the ground like, oh, God, like, so nauseous. I was like, oh, God, I'm gonna puke. And I just ate right before I dipped, which probably didn't help things, but, uh, anyway, I ended up puking twice, massive amounts of throw up in the middle of the street, but no one saw it. John was the only one who saw it. So we started walking back to my house, and my brother sees the puke, and he's like, what the hell happened? And then uh, John took the blame for it, because he's such a great friend. And, uh, yeah, that was it. And then uh, I don't remember the rest of the dips from then. But I, I bought my first tin of Skull Apple Long Cut. John bought that for me. And uh, I finished. It took That literally took me like a week, week and a half to finish. Because so I was taking baby-ass pinches. I was dipping like maybe once a day. Because, you know, my parents out and would would have killed me back then if they knew I dipped. They know I dip now, but they would have killed me. So it was just so hard to get away and, you know, try to find time to pack and live. I wouldn't dare pack and live in my house. But, uh, yeah, and then here I am today doing about a tin a day. Highly addicted. But I don't mind because I love dip. But anyway, guys, uh, short update. That's all I got for you guys. Check out the Zach Brown band. Um, they have some awesome shit. 
but uh, that's it, so take it easy and keep dipping. Let me know, guys, upload videos about how you first got into dipping, because um, I'd love to know. Alright, see ya.